All right, gonna be doing a short leg cast here. So get the cotton on first. And then the fiberglass. So you had a cast on this before? Yeah. Okay. Slide this on. Don't point down to help me, because okay. then you're activating those tendons. Yeah. Just let me get around your ankle. Way too long. For the blanket, there you go. If you can do that for me, that helps a lot. Yep. Did they put you in that cast stand last time? It's like a metal stand. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Because if people, we use these metal stands, I don't know where it's at, somewhere, but these cast stands, and they're there to. Um, Hold your foot in position. But if you can hold your foot there and I use my knee, then I don't need to use that. Yeah. Alright, so you just stare it there and wrap you up in cotton and I'll get you wrapped up in top of this. How long ago was the last one? Um February of last year was when I had it. So then yeah, I got I think I got my cast off in March. End of March last okay. year. Now, when I go to set you on my leg, don't reach for my leg because that points your foot down. Just okay. let me kind of manually put you there. There you go. Perfect. This will feel tighter than the splint, only because um, the splint goes on tight and ends up getting loose. Mm -hmm. So you get used to that loose feeling. A lot of people are like, this feels too tight. And I'm like, I think you just got used to the loosey, loosey goosey splint near the end there. Yeah. You didn't ask him about a uh, track. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Your therapist will probably make that decision, I'm assuming. Probably. Yeah. yeah. The doctor's view is probably yeah. good. Helpful. So this is uh, folded over, create the border here. I like to do an extra thick border, just so it doesn't dig in here. I use a little more cotton than some people. Um, mine seem to turn out just fine now. That's interesting. It's like some people say thinner cotton. Well, they most people do because mm -hmm. um, the cotton compresses down. Mm -hmm. So if you do too much, it can um, create actually like a less snug cast. Mm -hmm. um, but I just do a good solid two layers. Mine always turn out pretty, pretty decent. People like them. All right, so we're getting ready to make sure the heel has enough padding. You'll be walking in it. One more extra here. That'll be it. Feel good now. Cut away the toe area. So sometimes people cut away the toe area, the cotton, after they put the fiberglass on. I quit doing that. I'm the only one that does it this way. Because trying to cut through fiberglass and this thick cotton all together, yeah. ah, it's just, it's hard. Yeah, that sound <laughs> so what I do is I cut away this first. And then, I'll have to cut through the fiberglass. Because I rolled the fiberglass the same way. Mm -hmm. But cutting through one each separately is much easier. Check the toes, make sure we're in good placement for the cast. Pretty good. Okay. And we'll start casting you. The blue, right? Yep. All right. Just gonna hold that 90 degrees at that ankle. Start wrapping up in the clear first, then blue second. We don't 
pull it tight, we just kind of lay it down. The cotton's tight, and then this is kind of just laid down smoothly. fight the fiberglass. Like yeah. I can't do this and create all these wrinkles. You just gotta yeah. let it go and know that um, if you've been doing this a while that there's techniques to get back and recover an area where you want to go one way but the, the fiberglass is like no I don't want to go that way. So when I had to go real low and then come back up quick it would have caused the wrinkles so I create a cut so I can then turn it. If that makes sense. Yeah, no, it makes sense. Two layers of the clear and then two layers of the, almost two layers of the blue. Because a lot of times, that, depending on the shape of the person, the foot, this turn around the back is really low to catch this lip here. Oh, yeah. So right here, I can't, I can't get up there really good, so yeah. this helps me. Do that. And I don't need to go all the way up because you already got like a layer and a half there. Mm -hmm. but really, this is really the cast. It's really necessary from like here to here. Yeah. So no need to give you a big, insanely bulky shell um, at the top. I'm gonna cut this because that's too much. Check, make sure there's an arch. Go arch. Start molding it to your Achilles tendon, make your tibia here. Get nice and snug. And then I wrist jam my leg. Which is a custom leather leg cover a customer made for me, a patient. Oh, wow. I told him about it and he had me draw up my design and he took it to his leather shop and built it in a week. That's insane. Yeah, it was pretty cool. He's like, I like the idea. I'm going to make it for you. I was like, okay. That's really cool. Because we usually like, like strap plastic to our leg, and then yeah. there's like tape stuck to our uh, scrubs constantly. Yeah. And it's just driving me crazy. Let's get this down to 90. Yeah, so you're starting to point down. You don't realize that everyone does it. They push on the leg to hold yeah. themselves there. But yeah. if we go from like down to up, down to up, the uh, we start getting ripples and wrinkles. Yeah. So I'm trying to get that. All right, this is where you can do a job for me. I'm going to have you freeze right here for like five seconds while okay. I work on this. It just don't let the foot fall. Just keep it in that position, okay? Yeah. Okay. Right, there you go. There you go. I'm be able to build out the toe. You can relax on my leg. Get a nice little toe plate. Flatten out the toe plate. Actually, I'm, if this job's been good for me because I used to always be like, ugh, feet. And mm -hmm. now I deal with feet all day. Yeah. Um, and it's made me get over that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. There's still gross feet out there, though. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> there we go. That's looking pretty good. I got to flatten under here because I rolled the fiberglass under itself. Mm -hmm. If I don't flatten out here, you'll be feeling hard bumps digging in your toes. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'll we'll start the break. So we're gonna go around. And then you're gonna do that thing where you hold it 90 degrees from me right up there. Keep that foot pulled up. I'm gonna go around four times, okay? I gotta let okay. go. One, two, three, one more. Here and grab all that material on the bottom side. Very good. Come on here. Grab that. So you have my leg. It should be. Good. Sounds like I grabbed it like that. I have to make sure that I get it. And pull out again. Come 
from the top. We're going to be done. I'm going to grab that heel one more time. The water speeds it up. So it cures in 20 minutes out of the package. But uh, water accelerates it because the, what actually cures it is water, the water in the air. Mm -hmm. um, so in different water, we're just speeding up because there's water molecules in the air. So yeah. when we open that vacuum, it's kind of like a vacuum sealed bag. Mm -hmm. um, the moisture in the air starts hardening it right away. Make sure it's good. Wait a few minutes for it to dry. I got a trivia question for you. Hold on one sec, I'm doing a video. Huh? Hold on, I'm doing a video. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll be done in a moment. All right, and that's it. That's it, we got 90 degrees. I'm just gonna put a Sharpie in there. Okay. And then put a drop of uh, super glue. Oh. And it won't tear, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, and then. Still doing your video? Yep. And then. Pretty hard. Should be the right size. Yeah, should be the right size. Let me get the sharpie. Are we good to go? 